I want to explain exactly what open rates, click-through rates, and sales from your emails mean, uh, and how to diagnose if you have a problem with these, and how to fix it. So the most important, most in your face metric in email marketing is open rates. And open rates is quite tricky actually because um, some email marketing software don't really measure it the same way as others. Uh, and uh, it's, it's not a very extremely precise measurement. How this works is that there's a little code uh, that your email marketing software inserts into your email in the beginning of the email which gets uh, basically fired like a pixel uh, once people open this email. The problem is that it's not always exact, but it's good enough. Uh, and generally, higher open rates obviously mean that more people open your emails, but the industry average is, bit, is, is around 20 to 25%. Uh, if you have open rates above 30%, that's already pretty good. If you have above 35%, that's really good. But in order to get here, you have to have a good relationship with your audience. You have to send good, good quality emails and you have to have high quality leads as well. If, because if you just, uh, you know, uh, spend a lot of traffic on bad quality leads, then uh, they're just not going to open your emails after they download your lead magnet and it won't really matter. So, uh, the way to uh, improve open rates is basically to have better subject lines. This is the most important part. Make sure that, th that your subject line is, uh, is intriguing. It teases something. It makes people want to open the email to see what this is about. And I have a lot of resources about this uh, on my YouTube channel or on the in the members area. Uh, make sure to download uh, the ultimate email checklist as well. If you haven't already, it's on my website or it's in your members area, but, uh, there's a module there, which, uh, shows you how to boost your subject lines. Uh, there are some formulas there and there are some best practices. That being said, a lot of people overlook the from line. This is also very important because nobody wants to read emails from companies or from company names. They usually want to, uh, read emails from people because that seems more personal. So make sure that your uh, from line is your own name or maybe your first name or maybe your first name at the company name if it's not too long. Uh, that will uh, result in higher open rates than just using uh, the generic company name. And also uh, there's the question of preview text. Uh, some email marketing software allow you to customize the preview text, which uh, basically is the first thing that is shown under the subject line. Usually the default is that this is the first paragraph or the first few words of the email itself, but you can customize this and you can create like uh, a two-step subject line. So the, the big subject line teases something and that, that's, that gets paid off in the, uh, in the preview line. So this is a more advanced strategy, but it can definitely help your open rates. Now that brings us to the click-through rates. So once people open your emails, obviously most of them will not click, but some of them will. And the average click-through rate across like all industries is about 2%, which isn't much at all. So that means that 98% of people will not take the action that you want them to take. Uh, and that's okay because email marketing is, is a scalable system. However, if you make your email copy, so the contents of your email better, that will cause people to click on the link itself. And remember, the aim of the email itself is to get people to click on that link because that will link them to a product page, a sales page, a video sales letter, a video, a blog post, anything. Uh, and you will get free traffic from this method. But in order for people to click, uh, this has to be good. Basically, uh, the email itself has to be good. And there are a lot of copywriting, email copywriting resources that you can use. I have some on my website as well. Make sure to check those out. I have, I cover this extensively in my Rainmaker email mastery course. It's basically a, a very detailed uh, email copywriting course with formulas and best practices and strategies and everything. Or you can also check out the something like the seven day Rainmaker email sequence that I have, which is a plug and play uh, email template pack that you can use if you don't want to write your own copy or you don't want to, you know, hire a copywriter to do it for you. But the most important thing here is to have good emails because that will boost your click to rates 
to three, four, five, even 10%, even above that. And this varies, you know, like uh, the click-through rate on the delivery email that people get after they subscribe to the lead magnet it can be like 50, 60%, but like uh, a click-through rate in a sales email is going to be three, four, five percent. Uh, so definitely keep this in mind. And now finally, I want to talk about sales from emails. And this is a more uh, abstract topic in a sense that the emails themselves don't result in the sale usually, but they are extremely important for the sale because the whole purpose of email marketing is to build a relationship, is to uh, shift uh, perspectives in people to get them from someone who's unaware of a problem or even just aware of their problem to getting to know you better, to getting to know your product better and to, uh, to uh, being warmed up enough so that they click to the sales page, the checkout page and buy. So you cannot easily quantify sales in emails as, uh, itself, but the, the ultimate goal here is sales. So the ultimate goal of every single marketing strategy that you use is, is sales. Uh, and don't neglect email marketing because you can directly measure sales with it. Not usually in e-commerce and in, in some systems you can uh, because they're all tied together easily. But in ConvertKit, for example, that I use, uh, yes, there are ways to measure sales. But if you want to use advanced strategies, you can't always attribute every single sale to this or that email. But just know that your email strategy uh, is the thing that warms people up. And uh, uh, every single email is a sales email in a sense that it sells people to do something. And when you can condition them to do something, it becomes much easier to uh, get them to do something like buying as well in a later stage of their life. And email marketing is a, is a long-term game. You know, yes, some people, 10% of your subscribers or, or well, not 5% of your subscribers in a good uh, sense will buy uh, within 30 days, let's say. But most of them, like 50% of your buyers are going to come from long term. And this, uh, this can even be like months or even years. And this is called time to conversion. And the main problem of a lot of evergreen funnels and launches is that they acquire customers from Facebook or from advertising. They try to pitch them very quickly uh, within a week, two weeks, or maximum a month. Uh, and then they forget about them. And then a few months ago, they say again, hey, the course is open again. Bye, 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 bye. Uh, this can work to some degree, but most people, it's just not the right time for them to buy. They like you, they like your stuff, but they're just not in that situation or it's not relevant enough for them. So give people the opportunity to buy when they want to because they will buy when they want to. But the only way to do this is to consistently send emails, consistently have PSs that pitch something softly and you will get sales from that if you have a big enough list. But this is the real, really valuable thing about your email list and, and how I think about it when I think about sales with emails. And this is how I think you should think about it as well, because it saves you a lot of frustration. It sets up expectations the right way for you. And also on the long term, it, was, it will result in more and, uh, and uh, better quality and uh, recurring sales. And that's the most important thing for business at the end of the day. So I hope you enjoyed this week's a module on email marketing. We covered a lot of ground here. Make sure to check out previous videos as well if you if you haven't, because I think you'll learn a lot from them. Uh, this is like a whole masterclass in itself and it's available for you. And then next week, we'll move on to another exciting topic, which, uh, which is about Facebook ads. And I'm gonna cover Facebook ad copywriting in more detail, especially. Something that a lot of people don't really talk about, but it's extremely important. Thanks again. Have a great day. Cheers.